Hello and welcome back. Evan Daly here coming out with another Unity tutorial. So this will serve as a basic introduction to the Amplify Shader Editor. If you go into Examples, Official, and any of these folders, they have these different calibration scenes. So I opened up one of those and saved it into a folder called Calibration. I also created a folder and added a material called Simple Wood, and right now this is just using the standard shader. And I dropped that onto the model that comes with um, the editor. Alright, so now I'm going to right click here and create a shader. Amplify surface shader. And I'll just call this simple wood. Now if I go up to my simple wood here and try to find that, um, it's not actually in this yet because if I double click on this, um, Right now it's actually called My Empty Shader. The the name here in the project and the name of the actual shader itself are going to be different. I can create a folder by using the forward slash. So I'm going to, I'm going to say Evan Daily slash simple wood, enter, and compile. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to shrink my hierarchy. And I'm actually going to put the inspector with the hierarchy over here. And I'm going to dock this on the right. Alright, so we have the basic material here. And uh, actually, we're editing a shader, but there's no material loaded in this editor. So I want to double click the simple wood. And uh, it's still not loading here. That's because we're not using the right shader. So if I change the shader, if I go into Evan Daily and simple wood, um, now you can see the actual shader is being applied to this material. And now I can double click that and open it up here. So I have simple one, simple wood selected. Uh, I want to add a wood texture to this. So I'm going to hit T and left click. And that creates a texture sample node. Drop that onto Albedo. And find the wood diffuse. And apply. So you can see that applied directly to the material on the object. Um, if you don't have the material loaded here, it will still apply to the shader. Um, but again, you have to um, also apply it to the material for it to show up here. Uh, th this surface seems really flat, so to modify the way the lighting hits this surface, we're going to add a normal map. So I'm going to hit T and left click, attach that to normal, and search for wood normal. And now when I compile this, the lighting should look a lot better on this model like that. And uh, I think that'll wrap up this video. So essentially you have your material here. If you double click on that, you open up your properties here. You have shader type and light model. Um, this, this utilizes the standard material. This is a standard material with a specular setup. And then there's three more options there. And uh, really all you need to do is know how to create textures and then connect them to this. And in the next video we're going to work on modifying these with some basic math nodes. So I'll see you next time.